and good morning, Miramar, and welcome to the show. I'm your host, Tamara G. Don't forget, you can check us out on all of our social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at City of Miramar. And with me, we have three of Miramar's finest during this Women's History Month. We have with us Edna LaRoche. She is the executive assistant to Mayor Wayne M. Messam. Susan Gooding Liburd, she is the Chief Financial Officer for the City of Miramar, and also with us, Aura Thomas, she is a Legislative Aide to Commissioner Alexandra P. Davis. We are so happy to have all three of you with us here uh, during this Women's History Month, so welcome to the show. Thank you, Tamara. Right, Good morning, you. Miramar. Good morning, Miramar, absolutely. Good morning. So, Listen, Thank you we so have much, so Tamara. many dynamic people who uh, make up the city of Miramar as residents and also make up the city as employees. And with this being Women's History Month, we just wanted to give a little focus on uh, some of the great women who are working in our city. So tell us a little bit about each of your jobs and you know, kind of what you do on a daily basis. And we'll get started. We'll start with Edna. Edna, as the executive assistant to Mayor Wayne M. Messam, uh, you know, what does that entail on a daily basis? Where shall I begin? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on, Tamara. You're and welcome. I am honored to be here with such dynamic women. So congratulations, ladies. I'm honored to be here with you. Uh, what does my job entail? Uh, I have been working with Mayor Wayne Messam since 2015 during his inaugural year as mayor of the city of Miramar. And to say that any two days are the same would be lying at this point. Every day entails something different. So you may come in one day and you're focused solely with dealing with the residents and the problems that they're having in their respective communities. You come in and you're working with um, preparing and planning for one of the mayor's spectacular events, such as the 5K or the longest dinner or a Mother's Day event. It, it, it runs the gamut. Uh, you can also come in on another day and you're focused on, on brainstorming with the mayor where um, there, are, there are things happening in the community and you need to come up with solutions. So it runs the gamut, but every day is different and it's wonderful. And what's so funny is, you know, your background is in journalism. Uh, you worked in newspaper for many years. Did you that know is- that you were gonna transition into a career like this um, where you are dealing with, first of all, you're in politics. Which- <laughs> that is correct, right. but you know what? What? Let me answer that. Yes, my background, honestly, I'm a speech and theater major with a minor in with a minor in English. So I've always been interested in journalism, entertainment, et cetera. And as some of you may or may not know, I also hosted the New Haitian Generation on Beacon TV for seven and a half years. So I did that. I did the journalism through New York Magazine. And I also worked in marketing, obviously, with the Sun Sentinel, as well as the Miramar Cultural Center. Mm -hmm. However, during the entire time, I have always been a political junkie. So all the things that I'm doing right now when it comes to politics and and actually being paid for it, I used to do anyway in my downtime. So (laughs) my love of politics has always been there. So it's just an honor to be able to fulfill those dreams. That's amazing. It comes full circle. Um, (laughs) Susan, (laughs) as our chief financial officer, you're supposed to keep us, you know, out of the red. So how is your your job every day? Because, you know, managing a city of, you know, what what is the city of Miramar up to now? What is what is the population? Thank you, Tamara G, for this opportunity. And again, I would reflect and Edna and Miss Thomas, awesome ladies within the city of Miramar. And it is my pleasure to at least be recognized this month, this Women's History Month with these fascinating women. Um, Yes, the city, I would say after our 2020 census, there will be no doubt that we will be serving over 150,000 residents here in this 
Wow. So Miramar has grown. I have seen Miramar grown over many, many years. I first came to the city of Miramar back in 2003 as the assistant finance director. So I have seen some growth in Miramar and I've stayed six years with Miramar, left in 2009, and I have rejoined them as their chief financial officer in 2018. So yes, it is a huge task <laughs> overseeing the finances of the city, making sure that the city is not in the red, Miss mm -hmm. Tamra G. Mm -hmm. And I am proud to say with the excellent team in the financial services department that I have behind me, uh, we continue to move the city forward and the city mm -hmm. is looking good. And, and, you know, most people who are residents may not even know the, the behind the scenes workings of keeping a city afloat and keeping them moving. Um, they just know that they have really nice parks and they have, you know, really nice events going on. But really your job is to make sure that the city has money and that we, you know, don't go under. And definitely, you know, as public servants, and we consider all ourselves public servants, and the resident pay their tax dollars, and they want to make sure that we are doing, we are spending the money wisely. You know, so um, yes, you see the nice parks, you see the nice roads, you see the nice buildings, but that's all uh, on the residents and the businesses of the city of Miramar and making sure that the city of Miramar as their chief financial officer, make sure that that money is spent in the, the right projects and in the right way and not to overspend. If you're just now tuning in to Good Morning Miramar, first of all, welcome to the show. And we're speaking this morning with some of the dynamic women of the city of Miramar uh, during Women's History Month. We have Edna LaRoche. She is the executive assistant to Mayor Wayne Messam. Susan Gooding Liburd is the chief financial officer for the city. And also with us, Aura Thomas. She is the legislative aide to Commissioner Alexandra P. Davis. Loving the be kind sign that is up there. <laughs> and Aura, who, who has, I don't think no one in the city would ever say that Aura is not kind. I mean, that Aww. is who she is. <laughs> her essence, when you see her, she's very warm and inviting and just kind. How did you end up working for the city of Miramar. Thank you so much, Tamara, for this opportunity. And thank you so much again for that compliment. Um, it's true. So it's all true. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Susan and uh, Edna will definitely echo, on that. echo that. <laughs> Most yeah. definitely. And always thank smiling. Always oh my smiling. gosh. <laughs> thank you so much. It's the love of God in my heart. <laughs> But um, really how I ended up working here with the commissioner is from my kindness. Wow. <laughs> yes, because um, I was taking a look at her. My background is actually in social media management. And I take a look at all of our elected official social media. And I realized that uh, she was running at the time and I wanted to help. Okay. So I offered my help. I said, uh, at the time, uh, Miss Davis, I see that you need social media help. I can be of assistance. I can volunteer. This is what I do. And she's like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and look at, I, look at just how being kind, kind um, yes. and volunteering ends up, you know, with a <laughs> career and a, and a position. Um, right. I asked that question. And I asked Etna, you know, what does her day look like? But you work for a commissioner as well. So, you know, is there any one set day? This is, you come in at eight o'clock and you do this all day long, or does yours change as well every day? Oh, my day is ever changing. <laughs> It's, it's something different every day. And um, that's why I really like working with Commissioner Davis because she has a heart of a servant. So we're out there, we're always engaged with the community and just doing what we have to do to make our residents happy. Wow, that's amazing. Well, again, as I mentioned, these are just a few of the dynamic women um, that are in the city of Miramar that work for the city of Miramar uh, as public servants. And I wanted to ask this question of Etna. Um, you know, you, you said you started in 2015 with the mayor. Of course, I know that you were at the Cultural Arts Center before that. Um, how have you seen things change in the city? Because I know, at least even when I started, uh, the commission didn't look like it did now. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, that is correct. Mm -hmm. uh, the commission, um, yes, the commission has changed mm -hmm. and it's ever changing. Obviously, I think the city of Miramar itself is ever changing. There have been so much progress in the city of Miramar. When I first came here in 2007 to begin with, the cultural center was in the process of being built. Wow. So we were literally walking through mud. We were hired. However, we were walking through mud and working literally out of city hall because there was no cultural center as of yet. <laughs> So there have been so many changes and, and honestly, just wonderful changes. When you look from east to west, um, I love the fact that, that Miramar is a linear city. I love the fact that I have seen historic Miramar. Um, it's, that too is in the process of undergoing its mm -hmm. own change and mm -hmm. businesses are moving in and home values are going up. And all of this is as a result of all the things that we have seen, at least since I've been there in 2007, up to what is happening today, all throughout the city of Miramar under um, excellent leadership with our city manager, who has a vision that is just explosive. And I, I love that. A lot of times that. we can't keep up with uh Exactly. <laughs> that, is so hard, right? that is so correct. <laughs> to say but, the least. Yes. But it's a wonderful vision. And, mm -hmm. and he when he has an idea and he, he runs it past commission and everything eventually ends up taking place, it's wonderful for our great city. It's absolutely wonderful. So I have seen so many changes, but knock on wood, everything has been for the better. And hopefully that is the direction that we will keep moving in. And I want to get Aura's perspective on this because Aura, you started in 2018. When did you start working for the city? Uh, 2019. 2019. Okay. Yes. So, you know, a little bit, uh, uh, just over <laughs> almost two years that two you years. started yes. working for the city. Of course, uh, Edna has said, you know, how it was when she first started, and we're going to get to Susan in just a minute, but with what you've seen um, just in your two years, you know, would you have thought that city government was like this? Because you never worked in city government before, so. No, I came from fashion. <laughs> <laughs> so would you have, would you have known about everything that the city offers, you know, that it gives its residents, um, that the employees do for the city? No, actually, I did not know. And coming from a marketing background, I got excited about that, that we should be putting all of this out there to the public. Right, right. Because there's, Miramar has a lot to offer. Absolutely. Um, and Susan, you said you left the city, I believe, in 2006, but now you're back. Um, obviously, you have seen a lot of growth just in those years that you were away and that you came back. Tell us what your experience has been. Yes, I, I first came to Miramar in 2003 and I left in 2009. Nine. And so I actually, the building that the city hall, it was dirt. I actually built it while I was also in the finance department. So I was part of all of that monetary um going in and out of the city to build this capital project, this beautiful project to see the vision to actually came in, come in here new, um, for, um, putting the furniture in, putting the offices in. So I actually saw that. I actually saw the cultural arts also being built. Um, mm -hmm. So I left in 2009. So I left for six years and came back in 2018. And I said, oh my gosh, but I knew the vision of Miramar because the vision was always there. So when we see development, it is not like an overnight thing. It's years of planning because there's a way we want resident residential building to go up, um, businesses, commercial to come in. So these are years, it was that, that slow time when we had that economic downturn in 2008, 2009, where the vision for this Miramar, this city hall stalled for a while. And then, so coming back in 2018, was able to see it all materialize. 
So yes, I have seen it from the big pile of dirt out here to these <laughs> awesome buildings, the police station and all of the new things that are going on in Miramar, um, the West Miramar, even going back East. Because when I first came, we were in trailers in the finance department in East Miramar. Wow. So, so you see, I have seen it all. So it's a pleasure to be back with Miramar and to see all of the changes. And I, I must echo what you said. We cannot keep up with our city manager. <laughs> he has a vision. <laughs> he takes it to the commission. We get approval and we do go. And he does have a heart and a passion for Miramar. Well, if you are just now tuning in to the show, thank you so much for doing so. Uh, don't forget, you can check us out on all of our social media. You can also go to our website, miramarfl.gov. This is part of uh, who we are, these lovely ladies here. This is what the city of Miramar is all about. Thank you so much to Edna LaRoche. She is the executive assistant to Mayor Wayne M. Messam. Susan Gooding Leibert, the Chief Financial Officer for the City of Miramar, and Aura Thomas, she is the Legislative Aide to Commissioner Alexandra P. Davis. Uh, we certainly appreciate you all joining us today and thank you for all, seriously, all that you do for the City of Miramar. People don't realize everything that goes on in the background. They just, they see everything that's great and awesome, but they don't know how much work. <laughs> yes. on. And as a former uh, city employee, I know, I know those meetings. I know, um, you know, they go well into the night you're working well into the night and then you still have to get up and, and come back to work the next morning and make it happen again so thank you all very much and uh, we salute you in this women's history month thank you all so much for being with us today thank you so much thank, thank you Tamara you. thank you ladies enjoy <laughs> the rest you. of the month yeah. no and right? thank you all <laughs> for watching good morning Miramar until next time see you